morning, ladies and gents. Barbecues and barbecuettes, man. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. You see, I got my ensemble on. Got my skelly on. It's cold out here. Yeah, I was drinking Starbucks. But anyway, um, today we're cooking oxtails, right? We're cooking them a different way. We're cooking them Caribbean style instead of the traditional uh, way. I like to cook them salt, pepper, garlic. Put them on the grill for about three to four hours. Get that smoke, you know, uh, bind it to the meat. And then braise them in that beef broth, y'all. So stay tuned. We're going in the house. I'm going to show you what we're doing. So you got every step to try it your way. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, here we have it, folks. I got uh, oxtails from Costco. All right, here we have it, folks. Oxtails right here. See, they're 28 almost $29 for four pounds worth. Mmm. Yeah, I could have got a better deal at uh, Restaurant Depot. But anyway, it's just for a small amount of people. And I don't really eat them. But you know, I'm the king of beef. So we're going to get to this. All right. So this is what we're going to do today, y'all. Got some oxtail seasoning, the Caribbean style. And we got some uh, marinade. Jerk style. And we got beef broth. Right? So what we're going to end up doing, the beef broth is not for today. Today is marinade day. I'm not even concerned with that. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to just cut these out, put them in there. I'm going to wash them off real good, put them in my bowl, put my marinade in there, put my top on, put it in the refrigerator overnight, at least 12 hours, right, at a minimum. What I do is in the morning, and you'll see this, I'm going to take the oxtails out, get rid of my juice, season them up real good, and on the grill they go for about four to five hours, and then... We put them in an aluminum pan with beef broth. Easy day, y'all. That's not how I use to cook them. This is what uh, the house wants. This is what they request in that Caribbean style. But I usually do salt, pepper, and um, salt, pepper, and garlic with mine. And then marinate with beef broth. But anyway, stay tuned, y'all. We'll be back. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like. The crazy concoction that makes it jerk style. Or Caribbean style, they want to call it like that. But anyway, yeah, stay tuned, y'all. All right, here's what it looks like. It's a tad bit thick, y'all, so it's kind of like ketchup, right? Or some real thick barbecue sauce. Once I dump it all in here, I put a little bit of water about to where my thumb is, put the lid on it, shake it up, pour it in here. It makes the liquid a little more lucent. It can move around. And that's it, y'all. Put the top on there and let it do what it do in the refrigerator. Marinate tomorrow. Like I said, when I take them out, I'm putting them on a uh, a little tray, my cooking tray, and I'll show you all that tomorrow. Season them up with this good traditional seasoning from the Caribbean Islands, man. And uh, we're going to go from now. So stay tuned. We'll see you all in the morning. All right, here we go, folks. Uh, last time I just took the lid off. I'm not sure why my uh, wife would put this uh, stuff in here. That's for later. Anyway. We're going to simply just take these and just take them in here, get the bell peppers off. And I'm going to go through this process of taking them out. So give me a second and I'll be right back. There you have it, folks. All this simply took it out the marinade. I'm about to season it with the Caribbean oxtail seasoning. And uh, we're going to go from there. We put it on this grill, y'all, for about four to five hours full of smoke. And then uh, we're going to put it in beef broth and let it do its thing. Y'all stay tuned. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes, y'all. I'm about to let, let these sit on my wire rack. 
Don't ask me where I got these, man. I got so many of them sitting around here. But they about to get used in my smoker because we don't use them in the house. And all I'm doing is just sitting them on top. These go into the smoker just like this. I put my big ones on the corners because that's where the heat's going to be coming out the most on these tomatoes. So I'll just position them strategically. Smaller ones in the middle because remember I got a, uh, this little slow roller plate that sits in the middle, so the majority of my heat will be uh, coming around in eviction, eviction flow. And there you have it, simple as that. I'm gonna touch them up when I put them on the grill, so let's ride, y'all. Okay, family, it's about that time. The, the smoker has come up to, the, or the Kamado has come up to about 300. It's gonna settle down a little bit when I put these oxtails on. They've been sitting out for a little bit. Let me let you get a close up. And check out this wire rack I'm using, y'all. I think I bought it for inside, but uh, here's what. Inside is going outside. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me get this right. There you go. I'm going to do them simple as this. Oh, I got my handy there in the Caribbean Traditions Oxtail Seasoning. About to dash that on there as soon as I put them on. Watch me work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They got collapsible legs and everything, y'all. But today, sitting them just like that. Dash them a little bit. Give them that good seasoning. And let them sit. I'll probably come back at the two-hour mark, see what they look like. You know, anything with uh, beef takes a while to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and close my lid to start my timer. And we're going to let it do what it do. We'll be back, y'all, in two hours. All right, y'all, we back, man. It's on uh, the two-hour mark. I'm about to open this. Actually, I want you to see something. This is why you invest in a Kamado. Look at that temp. Look at that. Just sit down. 250. Once again, once you, uh, like clockwork, once you uh, remember where you start, you'll never forget where you finish. These things work perfect. Like I said, this thing been running for two hours at the same temperature. First, it was a little high. started at 300 before I put the meat on there. I always do that. Tip for the day. On a Kamado or any grill, once you get it up to temp, if you shoot for 275, get your grill to about three, 325 ish Because once you take meat out and you put it on the grill, then the temperature will actually come down. That is the point where if you know your grill, you know exactly where your throttle points are to keep your temperature exactly where it is because you don't want the temp essentially like this. Once the meat warms up and comes to the to, to uh, uh, heat temperature where it's not cold anymore from out of the refrigerator, then you you make your adjustments because you don't want it to overshoot. You don't wait till you get to the 275 if, if that's your, your temperature, temperature point and then tra start tweaking because it's going to go above that. If you know anything about grills, it's easy to go from low to high. It's hell to go from high to low. So you monitor it until you get your temperatures just right. These Kamados, once you get them right where you want them, hands down, you ain't got to do nothing else. Like I said, this thing been like this for two hours. But anyway, we're going to open it real quick. I'm going to show you all what it looked like. Yeah. Let y'all look at what two hours of Kamado does. Y'all see that water pan? Smokeware.com. Get you one if you got a uh, Kamado. They make them in all sizes. Anyway, y'all know my home home remedy. I'm going to tell you why I use this in a minute. So the reason why I use one of these little home remedies um, spritz bottle is because one the bottles that I have require you to do volume right so I'm not gonna pour half a bottle of apple juice apple cider water mixture in there just to spritz a couple of these so I use a smaller version of this and I may end up investing in one of them little little bit of baby small Dollar Tree bottles um, just to make my concoction because it'd be a waste for me to pour um, like uh, I think it's about 16 ounces of mixture just to spritz this twice because I'm gonna do it at the two hour mark, the three hour mark, 
And at the four hour mark, I'm taking it off and putting it in my beef broth. So it'll be a waste of mixture or solution uh, or your home remedy to mix it all together because you're going to have a whole lot left. And I don't keep it refrigerated like that because, it's, in my opinion, I like fresh. All right. So anyway, stay tuned. We're going to come back when it's time to take it off. I'm going to spritz one more time in the three hour mark. I don't think you need to know what that look like because we're going to be back and I'm going to show you when I get ready to pan it in the beef broth and just sit it on here and let it do its thing. We'll be back, y'all. All right, ladies and gents, we're back. This thing's still hovering about 250. It's a little bit less than 250. It's been about four hours. It's time to pan them so we can braise these things. Let me let you see what this thing doing. Get them close-ups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you can hear that sizzling. That's all the good juice that's coming out of it. Yep. Thermal pen. Got to get you one if you don't have one. Perfect. 170s. Hold on. Oh yeah, this time they're gonna braise these. Yeah. Woo. That's enough smoke. You always keep it in your pocket. Alright, so what I'm gonna do? It's time to take this and I'm gonna show you. Give me one second. All right, we're back, y'all. And it's time to show you what I'm using. Just some standard beef broth. Nothing in particular about this. And I'm only pouring it till it's halfway. Halfway. Keep that in, in the back of your mind. Halfway. And we're going to put this aluminum foil on there. Perfect. I'm going to give you a shout out. Let you see it. I'm going to move it over here in the shade so you can get a better view. Woo, I got bell peppers, all different colors, and some onions in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That sizzle. Man, I wish you could smell it. Oh, let me show you this before you go. This right here. Invest in the big block, aluminum foil, man. You never go wrong with that. I used to use this when I was a kid a long time ago. Still got it. That's how long it's been since I, I've been back in, in the game, y'all. All we're going to do is pan this up, put it on there, and let it run. Let it, let it run for probably about two hours. And we're going to come back and take these temps. This thing should be good and tender, y'all. So stay tuned. We'll be back in two hours. Hey, y'all. Woo! It's cold out here. Time to take these in the house. Let's go ahead and check it out, y'all. All right, y'all. We just came in and it's had time to cool. Let's check this bad baby out. This is for tomorrow, so no worries. Come on. Come on. Let's see what these things look like. Ooh. Let's see here. Let's get a fork. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can pick one up, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, that's hot. Let's see if I can. It's hot, y'all. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Y'all see how it's coming off the bone? Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can pick it up. There you go, one meat. Mm. Mm mm mm. There you have it, folks. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. There you have it. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and eat on.